Okay, so here's the deal. I cannot film in the dark. Janet will give me a hard time with this. So, here we go. We still, we still have a couple of issues, quality issues with the car, even after picking it up from the body shop. I'll uh, show you quickly here. Here is the backlight. You can see how this part here stands actually out of this one. I think this is because they have adjusted the boot lid. So there's uh, probably a three, four millimeter gap. And we have a look on the other side here. You can see it's almost flush. There is probably, that's probably a millimeter, or not even that. This is pretty flush here, but on the other side, it sticks out quite a lot. Okay, and then the front bumper, the front bumper, the front bumper. Have a look at this joint here. It looks like the actual fender touches the, the bumper here. It sits on top of the bumper and touches there. While on the other side, there's a gap. There's a gap, which that's how it should be. That's a perfect gap, just a millimeter gap in between. But over here, it sits very flush. We've got a little bit of gap here, but then the gap disappears at this position here. And yeah, this one sits on top of it. So you can really feel this part is still not aligned 100% correctly here. So the whole bumper front situation, holy sh! it's still not ideal. I will, I should have flagged this with Tesla again. I, I think I should. I think I should really. So I will put the car in roll stopping mode now and see what this actually does. Okay, so we are driving 40 kilometers an hour. I take the foot of the accelerator and it regens hard, even in roll mode. I was kind of hoping this is B0, like the B0 setting in the PHEV and the car just keeps coasting and rolling without any resistance, but it's not. It's still region. Well, on the other hand, I don't think they can actually turn off region here. People would crash. If you are used to region and it doesn't region anymore, like in a normalized car, it, you will crash, definitely. So I'm not sure about what this actually does. Because we still have region here, yeah, we have very strong region. It doesn't roll when you take your foot off the accelerator. It's not like that. Uh, let me try another test here. If I just slow down, I'm not braking. Oh yeah, the car is slowly rolling. And now it rolls backwards. Okay, this is roll. This is what them meant. Yeah, it doesn't come to a full stop. It keeps rolling depending on the road. So if it goes downhill, you're rolling downhill. If it goes uphill, you're rolling backwards. Huh. What is that for? Okay, I'll keep it in roll and see if I can make sense out of this mode. Well, the dashboard rattling is back. I heard it yesterday already and was hoping it's just they fixed it, but it's not fixed. It's still rattling. So, after the update, now uh, the just trying again to veer over the lane here a little bit. Yeah, uh, it doesn't do anything. It wants you again here, but not on the middle lane. Now it works. Got a blue line there, and it pushes you back into your own lane. Yeah, that works. dotted line 
Yeah, it's still showing the hold button here, the hold function here, and that car doesn't roll back on this little hill. But as soon as you press the accelerator, it starts rolling, it even starts rolling backwards. So this is the roll function. I don't know what it is for, actually. Uh, that sounds a bit driving. I know what creep is. Creep is obviously creep. So it starts yeah, creeps up this hill now without me touching the accelerator. But I need to put it in park to change the function. I think hold is the way to go. This is one pedal driving. Roll is kind of... I don't know. What would you use roll for? So it keeps rolling. Doesn't make sense to me. What does it say? Roll when pedals are released. Hmm. Yeah, I think definitely hold is the way to go. This is one pedal driving, that's what you want. No brakes anymore. So we are now coming to a steep curve. We are in autopilot, autopilot at the moment. 70 kilometers is uh, recommended. And now the car brakes really hard, really, really hard. And I hope it turns, or does it go straight? No, it turns, okay. Yeah, it follows the road. 60 kilometers per hour and now it starts accelerating again and now it accelerates really hard as well this is a lot rougher than before before the update but I don't know if they have data um, of this area here at all I think I may be the only or the first person here driving an autopilot on this road ever with a Tesla and it may get better over time I'm not sure but it seems to be very rough when it breaks before a curve uh, we can test this again a little bit later here on this trip so 100 kilometers per hour zone we're coming to another curve here see if the car slows down actually in the air again full regen and then it accelerates hard again out of the curve so this is not as smooth as it, as it was but as I said I don't know if they have enough data for this kind of area here in autopilot uh, it will be interesting to see if this improves over time if I drive here in autopilot all the time and the car actually learns um, from from this area here from this data because it nags me every 12-15 seconds or so to put my hands back on the steering wheel which clearly shows the car is not really comfortable driving here on this area there it comes again so there's another curve coming up it's 100 I would probably drive this with 90 if I would drive myself Now it breaks full region again. It breaks really hard down to 80 kilometers, which is okay, but you can do it with 90. Yeah, see, it nags me every 12 seconds or so. Put my hands back on, and now it accelerates again. And here's the next curve coming 100, and again, region, region. Oh, this time it does it at 90 and uh, yeah you can see it's it's a bit jerky here it drives like a 16 year old again uh, it's not comfortable in these roads with autopilot here interesting to see if this improves over time I think you can conclude from the frequency the actual display nags you to put your hands back on the steering wheel how comfortable the car is to drive in this area on these roads and uh, on the highway it takes almost a minute now until it nags you again and here on these roads it's about 10-12 seconds so the car wants more interaction with the driver uh, in these kind of roads here blinkers on this side <laughs> okay guys so far this first testing with the new software update 36.2.2 uh, 2019 36 .2 .2. 
And as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. This is Andy from Unplugged TV Australia signing off. You stay charged and we will see us again in the next video very soon. Thanks guys. See you then. Bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.